From the Chum Television Building in downtown Toronto, it's Bare Naked for the Holidays. A live at the rehearsal hall special presentation hosted by Marilyn Dennis and featuring the Bare Naked Ladies performing some of their favorite holiday songs and greatest hits. Ladies and gentlemen, live at the rehearsal hall, Bernie, good for the holidays. Ladies and gentlemen, Marilyn Dennis. Oh, yeah. So good to have you all with us today. Nice it's to so be great. here. It's so great. Tonight, I should say. Happy holidays to everybody. Thank you. And Happy we've holidays got kids to you. here today, of, people of all ages, celebrating the holidays. We call them little people. The little they, people. They prefer to be called little you people. You don't walk over the little people, do you? No, no, no. not at all. No, so, of course not. So, got some family members here tonight. We got people really ready for the Christmas spirit. I mean, after all, this is a special. This is, this is really some of the songs that are on your Bare Naked for the Holidays it CD. Is. It is. It's it's some of the songs from our Bare Naked for the Holidays CD. Yeah. And many of our greatest hits. Oh my gosh! Well, we got to get underway right now. What are we gonna hear next? Uh, it's none of your business. All Marilyn. right. <laughs> Why don't you just enjoy okay, the show just like everyone enjoy else? The show. I'm gonna walk off now. Ladies wanna... and gentlemen, the Bare Naked Ladies. God bless you, merry gentlemen, let nothing you dismay. Remember Christ our Savior was born upon this day to save us all from Satan's power when we were gone astray. What tidings of comfort and joy, comfort and joy, what tidings of comfort and joy. Blessed angel came, and unto certain shepherds brought tidings of the same. How that in Bethlehem was born the Son of God by name. What tidings of comfort and joy, comfort and joy. What tidings of comfort and joy. i 
to thy perfect life. We three kings of Orient are bearing gifts we traverse upon. Field and fountain more and mountain following yonder star. Oh, oh star of one, star of night, star with royal beauty bright, westward leading still proceeding guide us to thy birth. King on Bethlehem's plain, gold I bring to crown him again. Prayer and praising all men, raising worship in God oh, to star. reign. Oh, oh, star of wonder, star of night, star. Drove downtown in the rain 9.30 on a Tuesday night Just to check out the late night Record shop Call it a buzzer Call it a buzzer Call it insane but When I'm surrounded I just can't stop It's a matter of instinct It's a matter of conditioning And a matter of fact you can call me Pablo John. Bring a bell and I'll salivate. How'd you like that? Dr. Lindsay, tell me, and I'm just a pen of God. Cause right now I have to lie in bed, just like Brian Wilson did. Well, I have to lie in bed, just like Brian Wilson did. Lying in bed, just like Brian Wilson did. Well, I lying in bed, just like Brian Wilson did. Oh. So I'm lying here, just staring at the ceiling tiles, and I'm thinking about oh, what to think about. Just listening. And though I was very heavy, 
for the holidays. Aren't they great? Yeah. Oh, I think they're fantastic. You're fantastic. Oh, my, my favorite band, actually. Well, we, it's time to introduce the band. Who would like to start first? We're supposed to go counterclockwise, okay. but I think that's you. I'll introduce um, Ed Robertson to my left okay, on guitar and vocals. Nice to meet Ed. One of the founders of the group. Yes. The founder from Scarborough, of the Ontario. 17 years in. 17 years ago. Yeah. Wow. I don't know. Fifteen happy years. Fifteen happy years. <laughs> you guys met when you were in high school? Yeah. All right. Actually, Steve and I met in the fourth grade. Yeah. When Get I was in out. the fourth, he was in the fifth. Yeah. And ever since then? We didn't like each other until 1997, though. Okay. Well, that... And would you like to introduce this gentleman? Uh, yeah. To my right is uh, my cohort and compadre, uh, Mr. Stephen Page from Scarborough, Ontario. Yeah. Canada. <laughs> Activist, choreographer, politician, <laughs> musician, MC, All right. snappy dresser. Thank you very and much. And there's three guys behind us that we have to say hello to. Back here, we've got on keyboards and mandolin and... Um, are you playing guitar tonight, Kev? No. Okay. Not on guitar. <laughs> Not Don't on guitar. ask him to play guitar. Okay. He's a multi-instrumentalist. And also a mentalist. A lot of people don't realize this. He can <laughs> hypnotize you, or at least make you think you're hypnotized in front of an audience at a college pub. Kevin Hearn. Yeah. Hello, Kevin. Hello. Next up. Uh, back here on the base from the deepest, darkest heart of Scarborough, Eastern Scarborough. <laughs> we have track and field star extraordinaire from his high school and university days, Mr. Jim Cregan. Yeah. On not one, but two bases, the double bass. He's always smiling, Jim, eh? Got a lot to smile about. Smiling yes, bass player guy. He's smiling. <laughs> and who's the crazy guy behind the drum set? Well, he's officially not allowed to speak anymore. Oh, really? Yeah, he's gotten himself into that much trouble. Uh -huh. um, it's uh, it's Tyler Stewart, Newmarket, Ontario's own Tyler Stewart, right. now resident of the city of Toronto. So Tyler you, will be 40 in a couple of years. You're kidding. That's amazing. Yes, uh, at, at age 40, I'm having my vocal cords removed. Oh, are you? And breasts implanted. <laughs> then you'll really be a bare naked lady. Yes. All they want for That's Christmas. what we love about that. Yes. What are you guys going to sing next? Uh, again, I don't want to spoil the surprise. You don't? I can't. Ladies and gentlemen. It's showbiz. Bare naked ladies. Let's be 
these candles out of the dark every evening one by one until the end of Hanukkah of Hanukkah with the jingle bells and the noise and the TV shows and the toys it's easy to forget
ship is fading, most loving near falling. This life is most chilling. Is the season to be jolly, but it's folly when you folly for position. Never in existence has there been such a resistance to ideas meant to free us. You could see us, then you'd listen. Toiling through the ages, making toys on garnish wages. There's no union, we're only through when they outdo the competition. Consider the price to an elf. Full intention servants who can reflect on one's attitude. That silly red act just makes the fat man look outrageous. Observe the wit may seem, you know I've heard there's even been illegal doping. Over coping, I'm just hoping it's not contagious. You try to start a Consider the price to an elf. You look at yourself, you're an elf, and the shelf is just filled with disappointing memories. Friends come and go, and your friends won't know why you are just happy making crappy little gizmos. Every kid knows they'll just throw this stuff away. We used to repetition, so we drew up a petition. We the undersigned. Sit back while we attack the utter lack of our enjoyment. It may be tough to swallow, but our threats are far from hollow. And he may thunder, but if he blunders, he may wonder where the toys went. I make toys, but I've got aspirations. Make some noise, use your imagination. For. There's a list for who's been naughty or nice, but consider the price. Naughty or nice, but consider the price. Naughty or nice, but consider the price to an elf. Bare naked ladies. Now, I know you're going to say it's none of my business because that's kind of the theme we've been taking all night. But I'm going to ask you, I'm going to start with you, Ed, okay. about family traditions. Now, you've got how many kids now? I have three. Have you taken some family traditions from when you were living in Scarborough? And uh, not so much, actually. We kind of, yeah. my, my wife and I kind of established a bunch of our own new traditions. My wife and I started a, a Christmas Eve party at our house. Oh, good. You know, with all our friends coming. Are these by. guys invited or not really? Yes, they're always invited Are and they? they never come. Oh. Yeah. 
We used before. to be invited. Oh, yeah. what happened? What happened? Tom? No, they come a lot. Well, you want to know? Yeah, I do. I uh, took a bath in the eggnog. <laughs> that kind and of then poured it day. back in the bowl. Yeah. <laughs> now, you guys all have children. Yes. So yes. holiday, like ch uh, childhood memories from, uh, you know, way back when? Yeah, I remember um, having Christmas. Uh, we, had, we had Christmas and Hanukkah at our house, yes, which yeah. was very fortunate for kids who like presents. <laughs> uh, we, may, we, we make up for it, though. Even in, in, in my house now, we have Christmas and Hanukkah, and we make up for it by, That's great. by just having worse presents on Hanukkah. Worse presents <laughs> yeah. on Hanukkah. Yeah, it just increases the guilt factor for the Jewish side. <laughs> okay, it's okay. like we have to really work hard to be Jewish. It's uh, hard work. Can I tell you my favorite Christmas memory? Sure, yeah, uh, absolutely. Uh, my siblings all got together and we bought my mom a, a gold ring that had all the birthstones of all oh, yeah, mother's the children. Ring. Yeah, yeah, mother's ring. There's yeah. five kids and all the birthstones of all the children were in the ring. And my mom was so happy. She was thrilled. She was totally over the moon and she wanted to get a picture with all of her kids in front of the Christmas tree with her new ring on. And she wanted to show off the ring to the yeah. camera. So she put her ring on and stood in front of the Christmas tree with all the kids like this. <laughs> <laughs> and it's the best Christmas picture ever. And that's a good story. Because she's so happy in yeah, it. Yeah, absolutely. <laughs> well, guys, this, this is going great. It's, I want to hear some more music. Oh, and, and I know it's going to be a surprise. I'll just say this, ladies and gentlemen, the Bare Naked Ladies. <laughs> I saw three ships come sailing in on Christmas Day, on Christmas Day. I saw three ships come sailing in on Christmas Day in the morning. Got all the bells on and showering on Christmas Day, on Christmas Day. And all the bells on and showering on Christmas Day in the morning. Let us all rejoice again on Christmas Day, on Christmas Day. Let us all rejoice again on Christmas Day in the morning. I saw three ships come sailing in on Christmas Day, on Christmas Day. I saw three ships come sailing in on Christmas Day in the morning. Kevin Hearn on the mandolin. Oh, one, two, three. It's been one week since you looked at me. Cut your hand to the side and said I'm angry. Five days since you laughed at me. Saying, get that together, come back and see me. Three days since I'm living room. I realize it's all my fault, but couldn't tell you. Yesterday, you've forgiven me, but it'll still be two days till I say I'm sorry. Hope that now I watch the hood wink as I make you stop think. You think you're looking at Aquaman. Some of this to the dish, although I like the shallots, which I like the sushi. Never touch a frying pan, hot and like wasabi when I bust rhymes. Speak like the and rhyme, because I'm all about value. Bert Camper's got the mad hits. You're trying to match flips. You're trying to hold me, but I bust through. Gonna make them break and take a fake. I like a stinky link and shake. I like vanilla. It's the finest of the flavors. Your feet are showing, and you know the vertigo is gonna go. Cause it's so dangerous, you have to sign a waiver. Can't help it if I think you're funny when you're mad. Trying hard not to smile, though I feel bad. I'm the kind of guy who laughs at a funeral. Can't understand what I mean, what well, you soon will. Have a tendency to wear my mind on my sleeve. Have a history of taking off my shirt. It's been one week since you looked at me. Threw your eyes in the air and said you're crazy. Five days since you tackled me. Well, I still got the rug burns on both my knees. It's been three days since the afternoon. You realize it's not my fault that a moment too soon. Yesterday you've forgiven me. So now I see I can't wait until you say you're sorry. China, the Chinese chicken, chickadee China, the Chinese chicken, chickadee China, the Chinese chicken, chickadee China, the Chinese chicken. You have a drumstick and you 
snow I don't know how I fit in to and fro people go I stand and grin the way to go even though I can't begin made of snow I don't Lullabies, I melt away. Criticize, compromise, white turns to gray. I'm paralyzed, otherwise, I'd leave today.
Again. <laughs> no, that was great. Listen, guys, this has been a great, great evening. Thank you, Thank you so much. Bare naked ladies, everybody. Always a different show. Love Every it. Every night. So nice to see you, Stephen and Ed and Kevin Reese over there. Nice to see Jim, you. Jim, nice to see you again. Tyler, don't change, Tyler. Whatever you do, don't change. Thank you, Marilyn. I won't. Happy holidays to all of you. I know Thank you're going to take us out with another song. Happy holidays and thanks so much. Thank you. All Thank the best you. to your families. Right. Bare naked ladies, everyone.
mistletoe for your house. Maybe a nice sweet vine is real, not there. If I had a million dollars, if I had a million dollars, well, I'd buy you a key car, a nice, reliable automobile. And if I had a million dollars, I'd buy you a Christmas time. Why is it that all the the main symbols that we put around our house are poisons for us? Is that something? Are they tell, telling us something? That's right. That, you know, the, the mistletoe, the poinsettia. The poinsettia. Yeah. You'll die. You will die if you eat that, they say. I don't know. I haven't tried it. That's my presence here tonight. Um, turkey? Because they found <laughs> avian flu in Turkey. I heard it. Not even that anymore. If I had a million dollars, if I had a million dollars, well, I'd buy you a fur coat, but not a real fur coat. That's cruel. And if I had a million dollars, if I had a million dollars, well, I'd buy you an exotic pet. Yep, like a llama or an emu. And if I had a million dollars, if I well, I'd buy John Merrick's remains Ooh, all them crazy hell of a man do bone But if I had a million dollars I'd buy a love If I had a million dollars We wouldn't have to walk to the store If I had a million dollars We'd steal Santa's sleigh cause it cost If I We would, we just put some stuffing and cranberry sauce in it. Or we would stuff that into the bird. Oh, the Christmas goose stuffed, stuffed with macaroni and cheese. You know, they say it's safer to cook the stuffing outside of the bird. Yeah. Not as tasty, I think. No. If the bird's tastier, the stuffing's not as good. The bird is the worst. That's what I've heard. Yeah. Don't you know about the bird? Everybody knows the bird is the worst. My mom flipped the bird on Christmas one year. That's right. Uh, my 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 father-in-law dropped the bird once on Christmas. Would all of you like to sing along with us? Okay, I'll sing my part, and you guys sing along with Stephen Page over here. Okay, I'm Stephen Page. Here we go. You have to sing really loud. Here we go. If I had a million dollars, if I had a million dollars, I'd buy you a green dress, but not a real green dress. That's cool. If I had a million dollars, if I had a million dollars, well, I'd like buy you some art, a Picasso or a Garbuckle. If, if I had a million dollars, if I had a million dollars, well, I'd buy you a monkey. I haven't, you always wanted a monkey. If I had a million dollars, I'd buy you a Be rich.
you for the help.